What's up, you guys? Thank you for clicking on this video. So as you can tell by the title, uh, you know, it's something that's been going through our heads the past five, six, seven years since the uh, obvious changes to the leader class price point and scaling with Hasbro. And, you know, are these things really worth it? I mean, they were like 45 50 bucks when they made the first change to where they were putting less with the figures. Then they changed it to where uh, it was, a lot of the leader class figures were Voyagers with added engineering or accessories. Now we're at 55 bucks, and after tax here in the United States, I don't know what it's like in other countries, but it's pretty much 60 bucks after tax here in the U.S. for a leader class figure. And, you know, I have i don't really buy a lot of leader class figures, honestly. I, won't, I don't really only get the ones that I truly, really want. Um... It's 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 strange to me like when I compare a leader class figure in my collection from like 15 20 years ago whether it's Cybertron 2005 Optimus ROTF Leader Optimus or whatever leader class you want to name from back then I don't know I compare it to say a leader class like the new uh Bumblebee movie oh oh shoot my Studio Series War for, Ch War for Cybertron barricade just fell crap but anyway, what was I saying? Uh, when I compare it to my Studio Series Leader Class Bumble Bumblebee movie Megatron, it's it's weird. Like, the heft, the engineering, and the articulation of this Megatron, it feels great. Like, it feels like something you're paying good money for, I guess. But in the same vein, it's like, I don't know. Like, there's no ratchet joints on this Megatron. There's no extra features or accessories with this Megatron. It really just seems like you're paying for uh, screwed-in joints, extra articulation, and I guess you could say extra paint, but I'm not even sure how much extra the paint is on this guy because there's still a lot of unpainted areas that could and should be painted on this Megatron, and they aren't. So I don't know. It's... It's weird. It's it's super strange going back and forth on each leader class figure the past five or so years. And, you know, old school leader class figures, they were 40 bucks and they came with more. And I know I'm kind of beating like a dead horse here. Uh, I know tons of people have been talking about this the past half decade now since leader class figures have sort of, um, I guess you could say, evolved or changed. And... I don't know, I'm also looking at my Kingdom uh, T-Rex figure, which is based off of the Beast Wars Megatron mold. Like, this is a $55, $60 leader class figure, and it just feels like, I don't know, in, in it, the world has changed, I will admit that. It's not the same as it was 10, 15, 20 years ago with the old school leader class figures. I know that, I totally acknowledge that, and it is what it is, kind of, but <laughs> that's that's a topic for another video. Um, and, you know, the value of money has changed over the course of the years, and, you know, $55 isn't the same as what it was worth back in, say, 2009, when leader class figures were forty dollars, fifteen bucks cheaper. Uh, so if you compare things, the uh, commander class figures are basically the new uh, leader class figures. Honestly, um, because if you look at the stats of how of like what money is worth here in the United States compared to back then. Uh, $90 is basically the same amount of value as $40, $50 back in 2009 when Leader Class figures were big, bunch of ratchet joints, bunch of features on them. Uh, so, and that's basically what you get with Commander Class. They're big, they have a ton of ratchet joints, they have a ton of features and accessories, while still focusing on premium paint, sculpt, and articulation. They are missing electronics, but I'm an adult collector, so I really could care less about electronics. So, I guess in the same, if you want to look at it that way, you know, Commander Class is basically just old school leader class, and... In Hasbro's own weird way, I guess you could say leader class evolved 
into, uh, you know, just dynamic Voyagers because it really does feel like they moved everything down a size class, or up a size class, I should say. Leader class turned into commander class. Today's leader class turned into um, basically old school Voyager class. Voyager class turned into old school deluxes, and deluxes turned into old school scout class, and the list goes on. You know, Titan class, it was, it's kind of become the old school Supreme class, and, and all sorts of things like that. I don't know, it's, it's, it's interesting to think about. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I just want to throw that out there, give you guys my own little perspective on the current state of leader class figures in the Transformers line and what some things could mean through my own lens and opinion on things. So, uh, yeah, let me know, let me know down in the comments below what do y'all think about uh, leader class figures for today's standards. Do you, do you think they're worth the $55 price point or do you not? All my social medias are linked down below. My email is also linked down below if y'all want to hit me up about business inquiries or if you want to message me about whatever or if you want to subscribe to my new patreon link down below it's got tons of exclusive content that i won't see here on youtube or anywhere else such as exclusive stop motions toy photography you guys get one week access before everybody else here on youtube to my stop motion films you guys get discord access exclusive music and music snippets from my stop motion films so if you guys want to help support me and help support the channel i would greatly appreciate it but yeah guys Guys, thank you for watching this video. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye!